Two weeks ago, I made a video on Ethia and it was one of the most successful videos on this channel. Where there is a tension, there's also price increases. In this video, I want to look at on-chain metrics most people aren't considering. Let's try to find out whether or not Ethia can withstand the overall downtrend in this market. So we're currently at 7 cents, up 4% today. This week, we are up by almost 9%. And since listing on CoinMarketCap two weeks ago, we pretty much just went sideways. Why is that? When the overall attention on Ethereum is rather high, right? This here in gray is an average video and the video on ATH had more than double the amount of views and is still getting searched. Let's try to find out what could depress the price here. We've already talked about the fundamentals, so feel free to check out that video. Let's now have a look at tokenomics. Let's have a look at token inflation. So that's what we are seeing over here in this chart. This is the number of ATH tokens over time. And we are currently at 19 billions and this will go up to 23 billions one year from now. The demand has to grow with the same pace so roughly 20% per annum for the price just to say flat. So if you're currently buying Ethereum you're betting that the demand will outgrow that token inflation. Now let's have a look at that demand. Let's have a look at how much the demand is growing. Let's also check out how many retail investors are buying in versus whale investors. Let's segregate based on holding size. So that's what we are seeing over here. On the left side, we see the number of wallets on the Ethereum chain that have at least 15,000 ATH tokens. So at the current price, that's roughly $1,400. That's what I'd consider retail, at least on the Ethereum chain where the gas fees are pretty high. In the middle, we've got medium sized retail. So that's now a 10x in minimum holding. So that's 150,000 tokens. On the right, we've got another 10x, so that's now the whales. We can see how the whales didn't really grow that much in number recently, but there was a massive jump for medium-sized retail and small retail. On the 24th of June yesterday, the number of wallets tripled. So that's here for small retail, for medium-sized retail, it also almost doubled. Now let's have a look at the mega whales. Let's have a look at the demand for centralized exchanges. Because have a look at the holders. The first four wallets are smart contract wallets. So that's probably relating to token unlocks as investing schedules, etc. But then we've got quite a bit of holding by OKX, by Bybit, by Gate.io, by Qcoin, by BitGet, by MaxC, by Swissborg, by Crypto.com. Pretty much all of the centralized exchanges are part of the party and those tokens are not necessarily owned by the customers a lot of those tokens might simply be sent from the team to the centralized exchanges for the listing so are the centralized exchanges selling off the answer is yes and no they do hold quite a bit let's go from one centralized exchange to the next so there is some selling it's not aggressive but there is some gradual selling this is depressing the price so that was the okx wallet next we've got the bybit wallet which is pretty constant let's check the next centralized exchange this is rather accumulating the next one is holding another one holding more holding slight selling but very very slight and more holding maybe accumulation as well so a lot of supply is held by the centralized exchanges. They aren't yet selling. They are also, I believe, not yet manipulating the price because when we look at the trading volume relative to the market cap, it's actually not that elevated. Here is where I've got that from. This is CoinGecko. This is the trading volume on various centralized exchange. A lot of trading on HTX and Bybit. Then comes BitGet, OKX, Gate.io, etc. All the centralized exchanges we've already looked at before. And here are the perpetual futures contracts. Not really that much trading volume. So the number of holders is increasing quite a lot. The price isn't and that might be because of selling of centralized exchanges but there's not a lot of manipulation apparently because whenever prices get manipulated we very often see elevated trading volume especially on the derivatives market on the perpetual futures market now i believe we are currently in a pretty dangerous situation in crypto because the stablecoin market cap isn't going up anymore a very similar situation to march and april of 2022 afterwards we saw the terra luna collapse and that then started the decline in the stablecoin market cap and with it also the crypto prices. So we've seen an expansion of crypto since October of last year. That expansion has halted. And so when there's no more money flowing into crypto, then it's very hard to make money with trading crypto, right? It's 100% player versus player. 
prices in aggregate, I believe, are not going to rise from here again because fiat isn't flowing into the system. Thus, I believe it makes sense to bet on falling prices, especially of cryptocurrencies that tend to underperform quite consistently. I personally am betting on this crypto to continue to do poorly. It did already fall by roughly 50% this year. And I made a tutorial for the premium members. The link is down below how to short this, as in how to make money when this continues to go down. The reason why the chart is going down is, of course, because of token inflation. So more and more tokens hit the market. Thus, the underperformance is relatively constant. I made the calculation if the decline will continue at the same pace as right now, then if you've got roughly $3,000 to put just on this particular position, then you're already making your money back for premium. So if your crypto portfolio is in the few thousands of dollars, not just in the few hundreds, then feel free to check it out. Again, it's thebitconsradio.com. If your crypto portfolio isn't yet large enough, though, there's also a free Telegram group. Link is as well down below. Looking very much forward to chatting with you over there as well. Cheers.